But map number three for uh, teams QX squared and Feed University is going to be the payload map Route 66. The attacking team starts in the diner of Panorama and gets to the payload. They have to push it through three points. Again, each time they get to the one point, they will get a full point and more time. Point one is going to be here. What you're going to see on the defensive team is up here on the gas station. A fantastic spot to defend is going to be here. You put up a shield. You can shoot on every angle of what they can come, except for here on the flank. The attacking team does have several different options once they actually get to this point. They can decide to take the high ground and come up from the side. They can do full all the way on the right side to come up behind them, or they can just try and manhandle it and push it through on the payload coming around this corner. But this corner is kind of the first real battle. Uh, you won't see a lot of teams fight down here on the front to first defend. We're going to see what we're going to have out of here, but we're going to have a Widow on both sides. It's going to be the Widow Battles of Kaz on uh, Team QX2 and Vez on Feed University. We're going to watch those very carefully because that's going to be kind of the tempo change. But we are going to have an attacking hamster and monkey, the Lunar Buddies. They're going to be accompanied by also a flanking Frost, and it looks like oh nope we're switching he was gonna he was he I would like to have seen both animals on the uh, defend on the attacking team to flank but we're gonna have Pillsbury on the monkey paradox on Zen Kaz gonna be uh, on our widow Squiggy gonna stick with the mercy Frost gonna be on Tracer and Infinity gonna be on Diva on defense we're gonna have Impulse and Vez gonna be your snipers Captora and Deathblade gonna be your tanks on both. Uh, Arissa and Diva. Diva, of course, going to need to take care of either one of the um, snipers. Pillsbury able to find food for thought before he's actually able to taken down by Deathblade. Vez wins that first sniper battle. We want to get see if we can get, get Kaz back, Rez back up. Where are you, Squiggy? But it looks like uh, Team QX Squared going to get a lot of a lot of ground covered here. Yeah, Infinity able to find Captura. Vez finding Frost in the face. Punk, Punk is going to res uh, the Arissa. Arissa is going to find and actually start defending this point against uh, Infinity. Infinity is doing a lot of damage to that Captora. Captora finally goes down. Food for Thought finding Paradox saying, I am the better Zenyatta player. You are not allowed here. A feed University putting up a bit more of a defense than the last time, but they are down some people. Frost finding Vez up on the side. And QX Squared is going to be able to push this one to the first uh, point. Almost not stopping. Kaz winning again another sniper battle, finding impulse. Next point, of course, is going to be uh, through here for through the town to the next big door is what they're going to be looking for. Uh, defending team. Oh, Frost finding the the pulse bomb on Punk Princess. That's going to give uh, the attacking team some more confidence as they push forward because they have lost the defending team has lost their main healer. Captura all alone. Captura goes down. He does have bongos. Punk Princess is going to have Valkyrie. And Food for Thought is going to have Transcendence. But Kaz up on top of the uh, saloon here. Going to find the main e exit or entrance from the defending team. Kaz winning the sniper battle between uh, himself and Vez. And they are pushing very, very much. The, the defending Diva Ult not finding anyone. The attacking Diva Ult from Infinity, however, able to find Vez and Deathblade. They have pushed forward. They are saying, no, you are not allowed to come to contest this point, and they're just going to have one person sitting on it to then uh, get the point. And, of course, it's Paradox as a raw Zenyatta pushing on forward. This, unfortunately, for the defensive team, this is really the only avenue they have of where of, to get back to the fight. So the attacking team, of course, knowing that if we can keep this high ground, we can keep them from pushing forward, we can get the point. Captura, though... Find, it went all the way around to try and contest for just those few seconds. Kaz doing some great sniper shots. Uh, winning a lot of the sniper duels and finding some um, stragglers not behind shields. Playing, playing a little dance with impulse here. A very good straightaway for snipers on this last point because they're, they're, although there's flanking avenues here on the left that and high ground that either side can do, um, this is a very good part of the map for snipers and for junk rats. Junk rats just juice it down the 
down the aisleway and it's gonna hit somebody somewhere. Deathblade trying to find purchase with Kaz, telling Kaz stop poking at my friends. Because Kaz did take that impulse, but he was rezzed by Punk. Valkyrie comes out for Squiggy. Frost was able to find Vez, with, and then a Deathblade able to take down Frost. We got an even match here of 4v4. But they are just still pushing the payload. They're still pushing the payload. Impulse saying, no, I need to get some kind of per body on the payload. Blood, uh, Deathblade able to say, I can come up here. I can do this. I can do this. I want to push some people back. But with Kaz in the back, just shooting all they want, they're going to get it. Infinity with the double kill on both Food for Thought and Deathblade. A defensive Dragon Strike countered by the uh, Zen ult. Kara, have a great night. Nerf nothing. Nothing happens. Food for Thought trying to stall some more. Again, they're just actually trying to make sure they get as many as many seconds as they can. They need to get on the point! They're nobody's contesting! Unfortunate. Food for Thought trying to use Transcendence as a stalling tactic, um, but then immediately got off, hoping that uh, the his tanks were able to get there and actually contest a little bit more. Kaz doing a lot of work there, getting uh, winning those sniper duels. And again, once the sniper... Sniper duels are fought, unless you deal with the winning sniper by either a, a D.Va or a Monkey or a Flanker. Um, he's just going to sit back, chill, and shoot to his heart's content. But they were able uh, to get all three points uh, with just over three and a half minutes remaining. They're now going to switch sides and see what, the, uh, uh, what they can do on defense and attack switched. A lot of death ball. A lot of sniper fights, kind of, and at that last bit we had uh, some good flankers, good tracer kills, McCree trying to counter him, uh, but wasn't able to find that stun enough. So they were able to continue pushing, finally getting that last point. They had, they, uh, Feed University, that was on defense, ended up being staggered near the end there. Kaz going to stay on the Widow. Doing some work. Frost going to try and poke him from the back uh, on Tracer. Of course, we're going to stick with Squiggy on uh, Mercy and Paradox because he's going to stay on Zenyatta. <sighs> Pillsbury and Infinity doing a great job of uh, being dive tanks. They're kind of working together in tandem. I like to see that. Uh, on attack, these may or may not be the characters they're going to stay, but uh, Feed University going to go with a uh, dive of their own. So what they're going to probably do is dive really hard. They're going to keep Zenyatta on the point to push it forward, have his healing orb on somebody who's all the way in the back. Uh, but he doesn't have a lot of mobility, so he's going to stay on the payload. They're going to have Diva, uh, Diva Monkey. They're going to have Genji Tracer. And the Mercy going to be the main healer for them. Mercy's probably going to dive in with them to do a lot of big healing. But we're going to see who can do it better. Who can do it better? Both tank defending tanks and Tracer up here with each other. Both uh, Winston Shields go down. A lot of poking, no deaths. Deathblade, gonna start flanking hard. Pardon me. Deathblade able to kill Burs Pillsbury and Paradox able to finish off Captura. Impulse finds Kaz and Deathblade able to find Squeaky. That means Kaz is not gonna be back. They're gonna have some free push time. Free push time. Deathblade trying to stagger even more. Death a ult goes out, covered with the monkey shields. Not going to find any purchase, but they are. He is going to get his, a mech back. Deathblade almost lost his mech again, but Mercy's there to help. Now is the time for the start to defense. Food for thought. Finding Frost though. It doesn't look like they're going to be able to defend this, but the monkey dives in on anyway. The diva's on. They're trying to get some type of kill, some type of stalling on Deathblade, able to get him out of mech, and then Captura finishes him off. Impulse finishing off Pillsbury. A risky, although I guess kind of you could try that as a res by Squiggy. Trying to get one of the tanks back up to contest, but not going to find a purchase. Frost gets a good stagger by Deathblade. They might end up finding some different ability, different people to be, but Frost does have a Pulse Bomb. We do have a Diva Bomb and a Angry Monkey on defense, as well as a Valkyrie. Paradox had his Transcendence, but Captor able to finish him off before it's usable. Kaz then finding uh, some Retribution by killing Vez. Squiggy getting his uh, uh, healing partner back up. Defensive team's going to have uh, full, fight, full strength. Monkey dives in, trying to find Tracer and push him back. 
Switching places, Monkey and Diva, going back and forth. There's a lot of poke power in both uh, Monkey and the Diva. Paradox finishes off Captora. I, I heard a... I heard something I wanted to see. But defensive team, Affinity able to finish off the attacking Mercy. They're going to need to push back without their main healer. They can't do much. Deathblade gets put out of mech. Properly stands there, waiting to die so he can regroup with the rest of his team. We're going to have virtually every single ult available on uh, Team Feed University. You're going to see a Genji Blade. You're going to see probably an Angry Monkey. You're going to see a Transcendence for when people are going down. Impulse trying to get in position here. Impulse looking for a the ample opportunity to do a... Ooh, that could have been great. Looking for a great time to do his Dragon Blade, but uh, Kaz is keeping an eye out. If you can shut down a Genji with the Dragon Blade, that's a huge boost to morale. But they are going to start trickling forward and pushing the payload just a little bit. Captura jumping in, trying to get the Widow. Widow is getting really low, but a lot of good response time by Squiggy. Unable to find purchase there. Impulse Dragon Blade comes out. Finds both Kaz and Squiggy. Goes down. Impulse getting knocked out of mech. And going to be finished off here in a second. How to play Genji. A lot of double jumps. Good aim. Good dash. And they didn't have... They only had to use um, Dragon Blade and Valkyrie. They, the attacking team still has Pulse Bomb, still has both def both tank ults. Impulse goes out and finds no purchase. But there's a uh, four ults on defense. And four, now two on attack. We got uh, Food for Thought using his Transcendence to make sure he stays alive. Vez finding Kaz with that uh, Impulse Bomb. Deathblade pushing Paradox off into the Deathblade. Vez also finding Squiggy. Vez doing a lot of great work here as a Tracer. I love seeing tracers that can actually aim properly. Thank you for aiming properly, Vez. Vez being a, is a very, very good DPS. Anybody who can track like that on tracer, a lot better than me. But that is going to poke a hole in their defense. They use almost all their ults, but they have almost half of them back. There's a pause coming out. The defensive team, that's Team QX Squared, they do have a Diva Bomb, they do have an Angry Monkey. And they do have uh, a Valkyrie. Uh, we did see Qu Kaz has gotten off a the Widow to go to a Brigitte. Hopefully trying to shut down both Impulse and Vez on the uh, flanking characters that is Tracer and Genji. Because Vez was able to kind of open that up uh, for the attacking team. Finding some great picks and it is a proper response. You're going to have Paradox making sure that a Discord is on either one of them, telling Kaz who's it's on, and Kaz is going to look for him and stun, swing, bash their face in. I'm surprised it's working that well, because again, there is a, a monkey. Monkey, uh, historically known to be very well at dealing with the flanking characters of Tracer and Genji. Uh, Genji with the double jump, it's sometimes a little disorienting to try and tra track and kill him down, so the... Uh, auto lock on kind of spread AOE attack of the monkey able to do a lot of damage to uh, Genjis that are dealing with your backline. All he has to do is the monkey just needs to jump back, deal with him, push him back, Genji backs off, and you go back to fighting. Tracer on the other hand is able to do um, a lot of more a lot more mobility than Genji, where Genji is very good at being vertical. Tracer is very good at being horizontal, moving forward backward with her uh, her time skips and the recall as soon as you recall as a tracer you need to actually get out of there recall is kind of like the oh darn button and that's when you run out looks like uh, we're good the person who had disconnected is back again the defensive vaults we have is an angry monkey a diva bomb there is only the shield from the monkey from captora able to block that so if, uh, infinity is able to throw that bomb in a proper angle you will be able to get some purchase there. A lot of good damage on um, Vez. Vez having to use his recall. I want to see where this Diva Bomb is going to go. But Infinity's got his Diva Bomb. Pillsbury's got his monkey. Vez is going to have a has his Impulse Bomb ready to find purchase somewhere. Punk Princess going really low. There goes the Dip and Nerf this. 
Finds Vez. Pillsbury able to find Impulse. That's both flanking, uh, attacking heroes down. They will need to back up and regroup, and they're going to try and push forward and get some people uh, staggered just a little bit. This is really far. Fra Paradox able to find Vez again. Vez had just rezzed. And now Deathblade is out of his mech. That could be a problem. They would have to wait for him to get his mech back. And although you see his ult is going up higher, a lot faster with doing nothing, it is it is going to be a while. There it is. Now that he is back in his mech, he can push forward. Monkey goes in, gets pushed off. Saying, no, you're not allowed to poke me. But Diva is going to stay up here. Impulse trying to find some trying to punch. Not able to find purchase. Captura goes down by infinity. High noon by Frost. Kind of just pushing him off. He's not going to find anybody with it, but it is a fantastic zoning ult to make sure they do not push with that. It does give um, Feed University the opportunity to group back up and get forward. Impulse goes out. Infinity, knowing that he had the impulse on him, very, very good job by him going immediately dashing up and away, making sure that even though the impulse bomb would not kill his mech outright if fully healed, but it could kill everyone else around him. So he got out of the way to make sure nobody else uh, was killed by it. Great play that was probably unnoticed by a lot of people by Infinity. Infinity is going to have a defensive diva bomb. Uh, High Noon's halfway up there. Paradox is going to have a defensive transcendence. Ben Captora is able to get a pick on Kaz off the Brigitte. They are the attacking team is up six to five. Kaz able to get Rez it back into a six to six fight. Captora going really low. Pillsbury able to find purchase. Kaz going down again by Impulse. Impulse goes in, finding trying to fist somebody, unable to get anybody on the alt, but they was picked down by Frost. Punk Princess going to bring up back Impulse. Impulse is going to be back in the fight. Doomfist always fun to watch. Trying to get in the back to get the Mercy. Mercy getting really low. Squiggy, really, really a half. And now they are still pushing. They're getting free push here. Defensive Diva Alt finding. Impulse goes down. High Noon again by Frost. Frost unable to find anyone on that one. Squiggy raises Infinity back up after the Diva Bomb. That is a grab with Pillsbury trying to hold the shield up, making sure nobody can die. Nobody does die in that grab thanks to the defensive Zen Alt of Transcendence. Death played very, very high charge right now. Over 90. They can kill Squeaky. Squeaky goes down. Foo for Thought finds Vez. Foo for Thought also finds Kaz. Also finds Paradox. It is a Zenyatta carry. Punk Princess getting Vez back up. They are still getting contested by this Infinity. Both tanks back up on the defensive team. They need to get... The Zarya needs to go down. She has way too much energy. That is a lot of damage going out. Captura just swinging his hammer away. Blade finally getting Infinity out of the mech. Those were some great plays by both teams. And that's almost considered a... Um, they don't do another round. They do... Both teams got to the end. Well done. Uh, time matters on either side. Um, I wasn't clear on which one did it faster. But another great map. Another great uh, game by QX Squared and Feed University.